a point of contention often among my colleagues and patients that we see in the office is the charge for a consultation. Why do some surgeons charge for a consultation, some don't? Honestly, I do not understand the surgeons who don't. In order to really provide a quality service for patients when they come in to be seen and to devote a reasonable amount of time for them to spend with the surgeon and the staff, it really demands a fee. So anytime you go in and you get a professional opinion, whether it's an accountant or your attorney, you're gonna go in and you're gonna pay for that service. And the amount of training and the professional experience that we have, I've been in practice almost 20 years. So that collective knowledge and experience doesn't come easy and consequently there's value in that. And the value to the patient, honestly, is hard to put a price tag on. So when a plastic surgeon doesn't charge a consultation fee, Oftentimes, that's a little bit of an indication that they are looking for more business, which is nice when you come into a plastic surgeon who's experienced and busy that they do charge that fee, and that's a little bit of a reassurance to you that you're going to a quality, busy, active, experienced plastic surgeon. So all those years of experience are kind of rolled into that visit where you get what I think is a very valuable commodity, if you will, for your time. The other thing that I think smart plastic surgeons do is if you do charge a consultation fee, is you offer them that opportunity to take that consultation fee and deduct that from the overall cost of the surgery. So if they do decide to come in and you've given them your time, your opinion, and they do decide to have surgery, that initial upfront consultation fee doesn't cost them anything extra. It comes right out of their surgical fee.